Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. This is the most important broadcast I have ever done in my 15 years of transmission. The most important broadcast I have ever done, except for maybe my 9-11-2001 transmission, when I laid it all on the line when nobody else would and told it like it was. You have epiphanies. You have uh, basically brainstorms, moments where you realize that you've been right about everything, and the picture that was already clear becomes crystal clear. Crystal clear. I'm going to say this succinctly. There is a 100% chance that the United States will completely collapse into a road warrior-like scenario if we do not address the problems now and point out that this is being engineered by design. Now, this road warrior collapse uh, will only go on for a few years. It is being orchestrated to fully break the United States. This is an economic-slash-military coup d'etat, not just against the United States, but against the entire Western world. The globalists have already destroyed and leveled and annihilated and decimated the third world, and it's all been declassified that the IMF and World Bank brag in their internal memos that they have orchestrated it. They are doing the exact same thing here, but with a 21st century high-tech overlay. This is a mega 100% red alert, ladies and gentlemen, red alert. We could go into the full collapse as early as next year, perhaps even sooner, but within the next two years, it is a 100% guaranteed fact that this society is completely collapsing by design and then what they have to offer after they've engineered the collapse and they've trained people to fully submit and accept a new way of life living under the boot of the new world order. It is so important what we are going to be covering today. Uh, Larry Pratt's joining us on the Second Amendment front for 30 minutes later. Richard Reeves for 30 minutes in studio dealing with the Napa superhighways and the toll roads that they're putting in all over the nation. In the last few years, there's been massive resistance to it, so they played possum and claimed that they weren't going to do it. Now they're back with a vengeance. This is a key part of the globalist funding mechanism worldwide. We'll be exposing that uh, coming up as well. So you'll definitely want to stay with us for Richard Reeves in the middle of the next hour, and then Larry Pratt joining us at the beginning of the third hour. Uh, but I want to be extremely clear with everyone here today. Here are just some of the data points when we come back from break, I'm going to break down uh, and explain why I've come to this realization. Number one, the mainstream media is talking about total, complete collapse, worse than the Great Depression everywhere. Of course, they've been engineering this. They hid that fact from you for the last few years, as we told you they would. But before they fully collapse our nation into the world government, that they would announce it. That is now happening. This is just the last day and a half. Central banks start to abandon the U.S. dollar. And who could blame them is the quote. CNN. Uh, London Telegraph, Chinese rating agency strips, Western nations of AAA status. Both parties mole raising retirement age, Washington Times. Crisis awaits World Banks as trillions come due. The big crash, America plunges into depression. This is all mainstream news in your face. That dovetails with all these police departments announcing that they're not going to stop people for assault, for poisoning, for robbery, for burglary. I'm going to explain what's happening. And the most important information when we come back. Here's the headline. Top Clinton official. I'm getting chills. Only a terror attack can save Obama. Get ready. Broadcasting worldwide. It's Alex Jones. Thank you for joining us on this July 14th, 2010 Wednesday edition. You heard it here first. 100% probability that we will have a complete orchestrated collapse in the United States within the next 12 to 24 months, probably even sooner, that's conservative, if we do not realize the fight we're in, if we do not face the enemy uh, that is coming down on us hardcore. I want to make something clear here. Barack Obama is a puppet. 
Barack Obama is a wicked scapegoat. Barack Obama is a Harvard CIA a frontman lawyer. Barack Obama was designed for the uh, implosion that you are now seeing. Understand that. The system knows there's a complete global realignment against tyranny. They know there's a worldwide awakening against the New World Order. Their own policy reports, and Zbigniew Brzezinski admit that. And they are going to try to play the Tea Parties, the populist, uh, the constitutional populist, off against the dumbed-down TV heads and uh, basically distract us while they establish this world government that will be built out of the ashes of the worldwide depression that they've engineered. The end of the dollar is the world reserve currency. The end of our borders, the North American Union, it's all in the SPP Security Prosperity Partnership documents that were released in 2007 via the four-year lawsuit by Judicial Watch. Now, the data points are the media is now admitting we're going into a depression. All over the nation, the announcements are being made that basic essential services from potholes to roads to police are just going to be shut off. Uh, this is the same thing that's been done in the third world over and over again via the IMF World Bank receivership. It's called shock therapy doctrine. We have the internal IMF World Bank documents, 2,000 pages that were leaked in 2002. BBC Greg Palace covered it. We know exactly what they are going to do. They will jack up the taxes but cut out all the services. They will at least triple the prices of water. They will put toll roads on every major road, 8,000 ro uh, miles of road. Uh, in Texas is their announcement, just as a microcosm example. This is hellish what they're going to do. They're suddenly massively increasing water prices and privatizing it uh, in Australia. They're suddenly doing that all over the United States, in England. It's all happening right now. They're going to take your jobs and raise the prices to bankrupt you as a tool of total economic domination to them. Then they will come in with the new SDR global currency that will back your fiat currency that is simply a uh, global currency local version. Just like your driver's license is federal, it just says Texas or California. That's the real ID. That was in the executive order 1994 by Clinton, implemented by 2000. You were told two years ago in 2008. This is all a strategic stated plan. Understand, I am telling you their stated plan. This is 100% accurate, the information you are receiving. This is not my opinion. But now we have a clear image of just how hardcore they're going to slam this economy. It's worse than I thought. It is road warriorish. It is the road uh, level, that film about collapse of society. And out of that collapse will come the uh, total deindustrialization and then the completely managed society, the collectivist society of the New World Order. This is their stated aim at the Pentagon, at the UN, at the Club of Rome, at the Council on Foreign Relations. So let's get into the information right now. Finally, CBS News and others are reporting that every major poll shows Obama has dropped to 40 points at least. In some polls, he has a low 30 percent approval rating. In some polls, over a 70 percent negative approval rating. Uh, the Times of London, the Financial Times, the Associated Press, Reuters, Politico, Wall Street Journal, New York Times are all announcing that Obama is politically destroyed and that he's not treading water, that he is sunken beneath the waves. It is a complete collapse. Suddenly, we're seeing globalist think tanks openly speaking. Uh, top Clinton advisor, of course, uh, Mr. Sapiro. Uh, and others are in the news saying, if we don't have another Oklahoma City or 9-11, Obama is done and our agenda for globalization is over. So the elites are openly showing there's an internal debate about this, and we know there is, saying, look, we've got to have a terror attack, even if the 9-11 truthers and the Oklahoma City people that have exposed that as an inside job, even though they've done their work and exposed us, and a, a lot of elites uh, believe that that false flag tool has been irrevocably damaged, that they've got to go with a false flag. Let's cover that first. Then we'll look at the other false flags, economic, military, uh, and, of course, environmental, that they are executing and exacerbating. From the oil spill to the situation with Iran, this is going to be a perfect storm. Obama isn't meant to survive this politically, and maybe not even physically, and we pray that doesn't happen. He is meant to be destroyed in the process. That is what these globalists do. This is how they operate.